I'm spraying on the rose water coconut water herbivore and using herbivore lip conditioner to start my skincare routine right before I apply my makeup and this is something I usually do every single day. Now I'm using the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Primer. This is my absolute favorite primer right now as it's just very, it's, it makes your skin look very nice and it doesn't have that heavy weight on your skin. And now I'm using the Chanel Healthy Glow Foundation, which is perfectly paired with the Marc Jacobs as it's both lightweight and they smell so good. I cannot stress this enough. I always tell people how the smell is just like one of my number one favorite things about these products. I was asked about this, this foundation and if it's better for oily or dry skin. And honestly, I think it doesn't really matter if you do have more dry skin then of course use um more a better moisturizer lemur if you have really dry skin maybe just a normal moisturizer if your skin isn't too dry but otherwise i think it's good for both skin types Now I'm just applying tape just to do a more prominent smoky eye and I'll be using the Tarte makeup palette. I got this a while ago but I absolutely love it and the colors are great for just a neutral eye color so I love this. Now I'm just using the lightest color to go right on my brow bone just to give the eyeshadow more of a pop and to give my eyebrows more of a pop when I start doing them. Now I'm using the Eco Brow. Um, this is the darkest color that they have. The name actually wore off. I'm using this just to line my eyes and the tape is making the eyeliner more prominent. And then I'll be using a dark black eyeshadow right on top of this after just to make it matte and black. Now I'm using the Tarte Eyelash Curler just to make my eyelashes look 
a little bit longer and now I'm using the NARS Vanilla 2 um, concealer just to conceal all those sad little pimples and acne that I have it's slowly going away but it's taking quite some time so for now concealer is my true love Here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Ebony. And here I'm using the spoolie to just brush up all the hairs just to make the, the filling in process just more clean looking. And yes, I know in my last video I said stoolie instead of spoolie which was hilarious because I noticed after because I obviously know it's spoolie but I'm not perfect and I make mistakes so let's all just laugh at the fact that I said stoolie just like poop which is hilarious Here I'm just using the Tarte palette, the second darkest color, just to go under and make my smoky eye a little bit more smokier. And here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit that I'm using. And then on top I'll be using the Anastasia Contour Kit, the powder one. Now I'm just gonna blend all this war paint and give myself a bronzy glowing glow right under my cheekbones and all the parts of my face that I want to look very glowy and bronzed. And of course contoured. When you're blending, I recommend that you, instead of kind of pushing the brush around on your face, to push in and do dabs instead, just so you have the contour staying in one place instead of being moved everywhere. And then it just gives it more of that contoured look in the places that you want to have contoured. For me is under my cheekbones, my nose, and right under my lip just to give my lips that more pouty and big look. I'm just fixing my hair here because it's ending up all over the place because my baby hairs are going crazy. So now I'm just applying the darkest black eyeshadow onto the Eco Brow Gel eyeliner I've already made. And this is just making it darker and more prominent. Now I'm using the Velvet Noir Marc Jacobs 
mascara just before I put my eyelashes on and also in I find this mascara makes your eyelashes look much thicker which is perfect for before you apply your lashes lashes just so you don't see your actual lash line underneath if that makes sense it just gives it more of a darker feel just fixing up some parts under my eye because it is a I was a little bit tired so I'm just using the Anastasia um, contour kit the powder one just to make my eyes look more awake I'm using vanilla or no banana just to make myself look more awake and these are the parts of my face that I'm going to be highlighting with a glow kit after Now I'm using the Huda Beauty Maryland Lashes. The reason why I have super, super long nails is specifically because I wear lashes quite often and let's just say I never have to use tweezers because my nails are so long. Now I'm using the Kylie Lip Kit Lip Liner in True Brown K to be lining my lips in almost a contouring way so that my lips look very big. As you can see with the line down the middle, it gives it more of that like Angelina Jolie look on the bottom. And so I'm using the darkest color True Brown K because I'll be using Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipstick right on top to make the color a little bit lighter and more of a mauvey nude but having the lip kit so dark it gives it that contoured look Here I'm using the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter and I'll be using this right above my cheekbones on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin and forehead. Now I'm just applying it on the brow bone just to make the eye makeup stand out a little bit more. And right in the corners of my eyes. And here is the finished date night makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already, subscribe below. I love you guys and thank you for watching this video.